I am Fatima Banu, a research scholar working under Professor Sunil Khijwania at Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, India. We have developed a novel localized surface plasma resonance based optical fiber arsenic ion sensor and I am here to give the live demonstration of the sensor. As you can see, this is the transmitted spectrum being captured from the optical fiber sensor when the sensor is exposed to air. In the spectrum, you can see a dip. This is the resonance dip that occurs at a particular wavelength and this resonance dip is the characteristic feature of LSPR. When the sensor is exposed to some arsenic contaminated water, the resonance condition changes which in turn changes the resonance wavelength. So this is reflected by the shift in the resonance dip. By measuring the shift in the resonance dip, we can quantify the amount of arsenic present in the water sample tested. So now I am going to expose the sensor to some real water sample which contains some amount of arsenic in it. As you can see when we expose the sensor to the real water sample, the LSPR spectrum changes instantaneously and the dip resonance resonance dip also changes instantaneously. So this shows that our sensor can give instantaneous information about the arsenic content present in the real water sample. By using this sensor, we can determine arsenic ion concentration as low as 0.09 part per billion. The World Health Organization has set a maximum permissible limit of 10 part per billion in drinking water. Compared to that, our sensor shows a significantly lower limit of detection. So this sensor can be used to determine arsenic ion concentration in real drinking water samples. Apart from this, our sensor is tested for its selectivity. The sensor shows very highly selective response towards arsenic ion concentration. For its selectivity test, we tested the sensor with different other heavy metal ions which can be a potential interference in water, real water samples. By keeping the concentration of these heavy metal ions in the part per million range. And we kept the concentration of arsenic ion at the part per billion range. So, our sensor shows significantly higher response towards arsenic ions compared to any of the other heavy metals ion tested, even keeping the concentration as low as in the part per billion range. So, the sensor is highly selective. Apart from this, the sensor shows highly reversible nature. It is exceptionally stable and it is highly accurate. It shows high degree of repeatability, reliability and stability. It is very easy to manufacture, it is cost effective and it is very straightforward to use.